alkenes are uh, unsaturated hydrocarbons they go by formula generic formula CnH2n unsaturated because they have a double bond present in them the first member is known as ethene now by now you should know that eth stands for two carbon and in the last name in stands for alkene so this is C2H4 to give the structure it's C double bond to C and then you put your four hydrogens now a few notation if you recall one of these uh, double bond is a sigma bond and one is a pi bond carbon to hydrogens are sigma 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 and also if we challenge you on hybridization you should remember this is one two three attachment so it's s plus p and a p makes it sp2 trigonal planar and bond angles are 120 degrees so a few notations that you know from past and you can bring it back to life in practice the second member is propene Prop stands for three carbons, so C3 and H twice as much, that makes it six. And you put the double bond between the first two C's. And then the last carbon has three hydrogen. The carbon in middle now you have one, two, three attachments, so you can put only one hydrogen. And the first carbon you can put two hydrogens on it. So this is prop in. Uh, now the third member is butene and it has a couple of possibilities uh, structural isomers so let's just go through them but the generic formula for butene is C4H8 the first uh, that you produce is a double bond between the first and the second carbon then let's put three hydrogen for the last one two hydrogen for the third one only one hydrogen here because you have three other attachments one two three four that and two hydrogen on the first and we have to call it so this is but one in the one stands for the location of the double bond now when you put the double bond on the second carbon between the second and the third you will produce two possible isomers so let me give you the structure and then we try to name them so you could have C, uh, double bond C. Uh, let me just draw the structure a little bit nicer. So C, this is the second one. CH3, hydrogen, hydrogen, CH3. Now what's true about double bond is it's rigid. It cannot rotate. So this is one possible fixed isomer since both methyl groups are on the same side we call it cis so this is cis but 2 in because the double bond is on the second carbon now one other possible isomer that you can produce is when you put one methyl group on top one methyl group down here and this will be known as trans, like transatlantic, uh, across from each other. Thanks, through a but to in. So all together we have uh, three isomers, one, two, and three. And it's worth uh, to remember the second and the third isomers, these are known as geometric isomers when the spatial location of uh, the attachments is different from each other totally ha have different uh, properties the trans is non-polar and has lower boiling point the cis is polar and has a higher boiling point so this is a beginning of alkenes and their nomenclature their last name changes with in but the prefix uh, stands for number of carbon and it's the same nomenclature we have used for alkenes.